What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review. This time for Captivate Apex 7, update 1. Okay, now I don't recall doing too many Apex ROMs in the past. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't get around to more of them, but this one's definitely noteworthy. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. This is Apex 7, update 1, and there's our boot screen package. Check that out. Uh, the video is right here. You can get the download for that and the link in the description below. Just follow the video, and you can get set up with uh, your own custom boot screen to kind of give yourself more of a, a custom look and feel to the phone. Um, now, Apex 7 uh, Update 1 is brought to us by a developer named Watsa uh, in the XDA Developers Forum. He's got tons of credits, uh, so check out the thread in the link in the description below. And you can see who all is credited on this. He's really good about saying thanks to all the developers that helped him create this ROM. It's a really nice ROM. Um, this particular ROM is running on the Talon kernel, uh, the latest build uh, we have flashed from um, the uh, Talon developer. Uh, obviously well known for all of his great gingerbread kernels uh, that pretty much you know are what drive most of the gingerbread ROMs. Uh, we've also already flashed the matted blues uh, theme. Let's go ahead and turn up the display so you guys can see this a little better. Uh, the matted blues theme, you can find the link for that in the description below as well. And uh, that's by Trolley, uh, Trolley14 I believe. And uh, great theming developer and it's a nice soft, um, soft theme. Uh, with a with a nice touch of blue, and, and I'm a big blue fan, so that's really nice for me, and uh, I'm sure it is for many of you guys too. So to start, obviously Diodex, Civil Line, and Rooted, uh, just like any custom ROM, and it's got a mix of Galaxy S and Galaxy S2 look and fill. Uh, one thing to note is the seven log screens. A lot of this was thanks to uh, Whitehawks, a uh, strong, vibrant developer uh, that's been putting a lot of these lock screens together, and uh, he was able to incorporate these into his uh, Apex ROM, lots of was. So you have the Galaxy S2, the SGS Glass, uh, Puzzle Unlock, Epic Unlock, Rotary, MyUI, and AOSP. And uh, some of the cool ones that I like are obviously the MyUI ones, some of the ones you don't see in a lot of the other ROMs. And as we all know uh, now, the, uh, the SGS2 looks plain until you have a notification or some music playing, and that's when you'll see all the cool little enhancements and pop-ups. So it does have a nice time at the bottom as well. Um, really cool. So uh, also I noticed that they did theme the Epic Unlock just a touch and it's got the little bit of different look to the, the slider so you know something neat. Um, one thing that I found cool is in the settings menu there you have the device customization options and uh, you can change the way these animations go. If you'll notice my animations are set to very slow. Now you may be like Josh why would you do that? That, that makes it seem laggy. I kind of like it. It's, uh, it's slow and powerful you know. <laughs> don't really know how to really explain it, but these slow animations, I like that. And I was able to do that by going into here, animation settings, and then you can choose very slow like I have, very fast, you can do whatever you want, you can use fancy input animations, and I believe that changes, you know, the way they'll come in and out at you, and it's really cool. Uh, one thing about the theme is it does have a lot of themed apps uh, built into it, to name a few. Uh, it's got the uh, Gmail MMS. The settings have been themed, dollar tab activity has been themed, the phone's been themed, the browser's been themed, the gallery 3D has been themed, and also the swipe has a nice mild theming. Let me see if I can not do that during my video. Uh, blooper reel. But uh, anyways, yeah, the swipe has a nice theme as well. Uh, if we go to messaging, we can check that out. Nice little blue theme. And like I said, this isn't a real heavy theme, but it's really nice as well because it's not going to kill you with blues. So that way, if you're not a big big blue fan but you like a little bit of it this is perfect uh, on the pull down we've got the matted blues uh, logo down there at the bottom um, definitely good product placement there developer but uh, we've got uh, the, the nicer larger icons I happen to like those actually a little better I like to see the text below them so this is actually a nice touch for me uh, and at the top obviously we have all of our original um, gingerbread like icons now remember this is 2.3.4 uh, so it's going to have the uh, latest security patch and it's JVP based um, So you can see all the specifics down there 7 update 1 uh, Note if you're going to flash this you can use my gingerbread ROM tutorial video there 
Um, I do recommend to just go ahead and flash the full wipe 7 first. And then uh, you may boot loop on that. Um, I didn't have much luck with the original 7, so I just went back into recovery and flashed update 1 without actually booting 7 uh, up itself. After update 1, you may get a black screen for about, I, for me, it was about 45 seconds. And you may think, what the heck, your phone's not working, whatnot. Um, don't worry, it will come out of that. It's just wiping the Dalvik cache, and for some reason it goes blank. Um, probably just something to do with the kernel, but definitely uh, definitely just a, a typical bug, and it's not a big deal at all. It definitely pops right back out of that. And the same thing will happen if you do flash the matted blues, because it wipes Dalvik cache as well. So uh, you'll notice that. So not a big deal. But um, it sports the KC1 modem. It's got gingerbread overscroll effect. Uh, obviously the CRT lock animation. Uh, the gingerbread launcher with landscape support. Uh, so hey, you know, whatever. I, you know I hate that launcher, but you know, I'm thrilled to see that they've got landscapes appointed. I went with TouchWiz because I think it's much better. Uh, just TouchWiz 3 for now. I do believe they have a package available if you want to put TouchWiz 4. You can find that on the XDA Developers thread. And there's also a large collection of SGS, 2SGS, and Xperia Arc wallpapers. So we can take a look at some of those. Uh, if we go into the wallpaper gallery, um, we can see tons of different wallpapers in there and let me see if they put any I like that one actually we'll set that one for now and um, let's see if they put anything in the gallery I think they did actually um, yeah, there they are apex wallpapers but uh, yeah so they're all in the gallery under apex wallpapers and they're really really cool so you should definitely check those out um, I actually didn't look through these so that's kind of something new to me to see as well so you'll see a lot of your favorites, maybe something new, so be sure to check that out as well. Tons of different options already pre-installed with the ROM, which is always nice to see. So that's a kind of a cool one. Eh, maybe not. Anyways, I'll stick with my grass for now. Um, SGS2 uh, LWPS is involved, SIP Wi-Fi calling included. Uh, I believe there is a Wi-Fi calling patch for this ROM. I may have been reading that on a different ROM uh, review. so. I'll make a note of that in the video. Uh, Clockwork Mod 3 compatible, ad blocking is built in, obviously using a host file that we've all seen for a while. And to reiterate on the Talon Kernel, it's actually based on .2.2, .2, but you can most certainly flash the latest Talon Kernel if you would like to do that as well. Uh, 5 percentage steps for the battery indicator, um, and uh, that, that's pretty much it to be totally honest with you. Uh, I left a few things out. Let's take a look at the dialer real quick. Um, nice and simple, nice blue touch. And uh, as they said, they've themed it a little bit here and there. So uh, this is Apex 7 Update 1 by Watsa and uh, the theme by Trolley. Um, be sure to check those guys out on xdadevelopers.com. If you use this ROM, be sure to consider giving your, dona uh, your dev developer a donation as they are well deserved by those guys and they put a lot of work into this. Also, if you guys need the download mode jig, now world famous, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can get those on our website as well in the link in the description below. Simple way to download mode, it will fix a soft brick every single time and uh, you're good to go for that. So check that out as well. Be sure to bookmark us, mobiletechvideos.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, links for those in the description below as well. And uh, we always appreciate you subscribing to us here on YouTube, so look for that yellow subscribe button and be sure to lock us in. We just passed 3,000 subscribers and we can't say thank you enough, and we would love for you to be the next one. So check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. And uh, if you do happen to have a brick fix that you need taken care of, we are definitely the place to do that. Your trusted JTAG resource. Check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. I'll see you guys on the next video.